person sitting next to your, uh, to your right or left. This is a mosquito larvae. Even here also, the mosquitoes are flying off. The larvae are down there. You, you pass are the fast moving mosquito larvae. After people, they develop into adult mosquito. So everyone can see. It. Fish. Yes, this, these are very beautiful. So if you have a big collection of water around the same, but, uh, this is small, this is medium, and this is large. So three sizes are there. Uh, we used to catch uh, mosquitoes, not by hand, but we use this type of test tube when they suck mosquito and then collect it. And then they go for uh, insecticide uh, resistant, whether the insecticides are uh, still uh, working or not working, whether it is resistant or we are able to keep them. So those, they use different type of uh, instruments to collect mosquitoes. We find any malaria cases, a big uh, number of malaria cases in any particular area, colony, village. Our entomological team will go and see, uh, study the malaria vectors. If vectors are there, and if they say that vectors density is too high, then we use these fogging machines. We kill all the adult mosquitoes, all the infected mosquitoes with knockdown, and then the the, well, we are able to control the uh, further spread. So this is the one. Under National Vector Prone Disease Control Program, every year, 25th April is airmarked as a World Medaria Day. And we all know under National Vector Prone Disease Control Program, there are Five diseases control programs are under national, national vector bond disease control program like filariasis control program, Kalaza control program, malaria, Japanese encephalitis, and dengue and dengue hemorrhages fever disease are under national vector bond disease control program. Every year on 25th April, uh, and recognizes the global efforts to control malaria. Today, the World Malaria Day is marked under the theme, Time to Deliver Zero, Zero Malaria, Invest, Innovate, Implement. Globally, 3.3 billion people in 106 countries are at risk of malaria. And in the year 2012, malaria caused an estimated 6,27 deaths globally. The National Center for Vector-Borne Disease Control in the state has been progressing steadily towards a malaria-free Nagaland. The journey towards malaria elimination program of the years has witnessed a sharp decline in malaria morbidity and mortality. With the support of GFATM, the Directorate of NCVBDC, and the state government, we have been able to bring down the malaria cases and there had been no malaria deaths since 2017, from 75 deaths in 2006. This is a major step towards our goal for elimination of malaria. But still, there are many more needs to be done to fulfill the dream of a malaria-free state. We feel happy today because we are able to control and prevent malaria from outbreak, from epidemic. If we are to talk about our state performances, uh, we have really achieved uh, malaria control. Last year, we detected only five indigenous cases. And till today, that is December, uh, April, we have not detected any new indigenous case this year. And we hope that we continue this uh, even though vector-borne disease uh, control program is looking after six diseases, like uh, as our uh, mission director has already said, malaria, dengue, chikungunya, 
Japanese encephalitis, filariasis, color hazard. But today, being the World Malaria Day, I will be talking about uh, only malaria. Uh, the most important activity that uh, malaria in malaria control is surveillance. In malaria surveillance, this is the most important activity that we do for malaria control and prevention. Even our program division, NCVBDC Delhi, will judge our performances, our good performances, through this surveillance report. In this surveillance report, we do either RDT, that is rapid diagnosis test, or blood site connections for microscopy examinations. So, in this uh, surveillance, we have two important activities that we do. One is passive collections, another is active collections. Where passive collections are done by the government hospitals, private hospitals, and also ASHAs. This group falls into passive collections. Where, uh, and then, as per our record, this group of people or yeah this group of institutions or people contribute only 20 percent of malaria screening malaria test the major portion is done by our surveillance workers and if you see our state data as uh, our spo has stated the Positive cases, the highest positive cases that was detected in our state was in 19, uh, 2009. The figure was 8,489 positive cases was detected. And the highest date, let me see, uh, say that the darkest period of malaria victim in the state was in 2006, there was a victim of 75 dead in the state of Nagar, but by God's grace and with the initiative of this uh, department and the program officers and all the district officers, since 2018 till then, there is no death of malaria. And as uh, Nisa Kole has stated, it was last month, March 16th to 18th, Nagaland, we were fortunate to host the Northeast region and three GCO states, Jahar Khan, Chhattisgar, and Odisha. So we hosted eight state regional council meeting and review of malaria and we had a deliberation for three days at the uh, Naitu Resort the Mapo. Our Mekong region of Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Thailand, part of China and Burma is an open challenge to the malaria drugs and it is resistant. The malaria drugs that we have is not in a position to heal the new emerging disease that is not far away from us. And there is also a report that the cases has been detected recently, 25 kilometer bordering with us in the eastern part of our state and uh, in my mind. So, I would like to urge taking this opportunity to all the doctors, to all the researchers and the scientists that it's a crucial moment for us and now is the time to, you know, invent a new medicine to fight against this new malaria.